Hello, my fellow gears. Welcome, welcome back. Here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time we had a debate with Kume, we kind of destroyed him. But now we hear the serial clan's about to get destroyed, basically. So let's see what we can do to end things. Oh, freak. Oh, freak. Captain Takabe! Kasuga. You shot! It was the Omi Alliance. About ten of them. One had a gun. They're looking for the Patriarch. They're going to kill him. His office is a ways up from here, right? Yes. Hurry. Please. How did ten people beat all of them? Finally, you make your entrance. The Omi Alliance. Where's the chairman? Huh. Give the boys a sec. They're still cleaning up. What's that mean? Don't fuck with me, you assholes! Kasuga is angry. Kasuga is smash. Again, the same strategy we do with every single attack lately is just literally find a spot and just attack everybody and go from there. Like... They're not that strong, which. Oops, I said it's good. They want to come play some camera. You want to fight? You're right now! Oh, this is not a good. Really, nobody died? Let's go, Shin. Watch this. Oh, that guy I really should have grabbed. Like, he attacks multiple times now. And you, you like, I kind of feel like this one, but I made him keep it to point. Excellent. And of course, what we need, we need him to get stronger and faster. That's exactly right. So, Shiro? Yeah. Captain Sawashiro. You're late, Ichi. You... killed the chairman? You were late every damn time. Any job I sent you on, the smallest errand. Why, though? Why would you kill the chairman? This will be the end of the e Gene Three. He was a tired old man who served as the Grey Zone's pillar. And that pillar supported e Gene Cho. Without him, it'll crumble unless we intervene. The young master agrees. Why are you two like this? Why are you so paranoid? You've already won pretty much everything, and you still had to kill the chairman in cold blood? Why would Ryo Aoki need to do this when he's already on top of the world? What if I told you it was your fault? What? Ichiban! Ichiban! <laughs> Forget it. You know how important it is to the young master that he wins this district, but you got in his way. 
A felon like you suddenly decides to make a run for the seat. He doesn't like being defied. Especially not by the likes of you. Sounds to me like you're scared I could win. <laughs> Are you kidding? Not in a million years. Why else would you need to kill Chairman Hoshino? You know him. He doesn't even like to be inconvenienced. So how do you think he feels about this? Well, then why didn't you just kill me? Oh, I would have preferred that. But your campaign has drawn so much attention. I guess you could call it a timing issue if you need a reason. So you killed the chairman in my place? Yes. The e Gene 3 was the machine keeping you on life support. If pulling the trigger on you would make too big of a splash, we figured pulling the plug out of the wall would be the next best thing. Uh -oh. Every time I think the young master couldn't sink any lower, he proves me wrong. What the fuck is his problem? What made him turn out to be such a bastard? I'm sure the both of us mean nothing to him. So why would he have to go so far just to crush garbage like me under his foot? What satisfaction do you two get from watching me break? Tell me what any of this is for! <laughs> is Arakawa-san's death your fault too, you fucking coward? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Doesn't really matter now, does it? Sawashiro! Oh no, he got an energy sword. Come on, Ichi. Let's set this. Wait! Is this a w oh. oh man, he just had to pull out a weapon. Yeah. Yeah, but is it really something to worry about? You beat him last time, didn't you? True. Yeah, but it was probably just luck. Either that or he wasn't really trying. True. You don't know Captain Sawashiro like I do. Holding a weapon really amps him up. Uh, so this is gonna be a tough fight any way you slice it. Dang it, Adachi! For sure. I mean, he's a captain under Arakawa the Assassin. So everyone be careful. Got it. Watch me. Oh boy, this should be fun. Well? We get cut. Yeah. Okay. I got this. Watch this. Endless love. You want to get hurt? By all means. Yeah. Hmm. Come on. I don't. I think we have a good shot here. I don't see him being that big of a threat yet. Which means I'm saying to myself, he's only 53. I'll show you a fight. I don't have any other. Alright. Thousand damage, though. Got this. Okay. Um. Let's go. Let's go ahead and heal her up a little bit. A little first aid. And we're gonna just keep stealing the tower she was MP. The problem is I don't have. You sure you want to get hurt? A good. He could be resistant. No, he's not. Bring it on. Huh? I need to heal 
get Yugi here. You're weak. I don't know to walk more than I expected. Uh oh. I got this. I wouldn't underestimate you. So. Now my question is, will anything be super effective against him physically? No. So, brute force... And... Come on, eyes on me. Watch this. He didn't like that. Oh! A cane? Let's try. It's a freaking cane. Oh. What the heck kind of move was that? Right? A way more powerful one than I thought. It's based on a western martial art. Western? Since when do you know martial arts, dude? D Since always. The reason I fought with an umbrella was because I got the idea from an old martial arts- book. Wait, what?! And is the captain using the same fighting style right now? Yeah. Actually, watching him is really teaching me a lot that I didn't understand in the book. Damn. How many different martial arts does the captain know? Well, I think we're about to find out. <laughs> feel like a wimp. I kind of hope, I kind of wish he talked in this sequence as well. <laughs> wow. Group attack? You're in it now. Get serious. This is very concerning. You sure you want to get hurt? Now we're talking. Have fun with this. Always be I with me. Can't get a charge. That's time. You're weak. Are you sure you can beat me? Does it? Forty-five. Yeah. Though that's kind of it. This is bad. I'll show you. I may have to pull her out after this fight. Or this round. See how it just does there. Okay. You're in it now. You sure you want to I think the play is to get her out. I don't think she's going to survive another beatdown. Get serious. Take this. So her next turn will pull her out. That obviously strikes very weird. I can still fight. Let's go. Uh, let's bring out tank. Here we go. Let's do it. Uh, let's see what a shot does. Take your best shot. Not uh, nearly yeah. enough. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Let's raise defense up, because he does hurt a little bit. Not enough to really panic, but just enough. I mean, break dancing and dodgy is my favorite thing I can think of. You're in for it now. Check this out. Come on, get caught. Wow, it's a fail. I'll show you a fight. Weak. You're in it now. Take this. Uh 
Yeah, he's not doing great. Magic grows? Wow. What? There's something odd about this. Right? Uh, yeah. Not like there was anything normal about this to begin with. Fair. Man, this guy is savage as hell. Yeah, he's pulling out all the stops. You've got to stay on your toes, everyone. <laughs> no begging for mercy now. He's still kind of weak, Take though. Why? I don't. Let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna do an all heal here. You wanna go? Because I just want to be don't safe. I don't know what I'm expecting here. I'm in the first one. Vile voice. Ah, we're familiar with this. Uh-uh. Oh my god, Kasuga! What? We're gonna have to pull him out next, too. You're in it now. Vile demon ripper. Okay. That was painful. A thousand. This worries me a lot. He just, he's getting a thousand HP a turn. Bonus three. Let's go. Another thousand. Okay, that takes care of that thousand. I'm not backing down. There's something that he does. Wait, it's a counterattack? Since when? He has a move. Let's see. The thought. With this, on my side. Let's go. All right, let's go in. Here we go. Get serious. Take your best shot. Uh, card shop. Let's be a lady tonight. That was it. Mm. Oh, uh, is he? This. You want to go? Yeah. 
Alright, so this is gonna eliminate that heal. Or him! I didn't think him was an option there. I think I can use that desperately, apparently. I mean, I can't complain about that. Look at me go. I freaking love breakdancing Adachi. That's the greatest thing Coming to make up. Namba got some good stuff too. And she's really strong for no reason, let's be honest. <laughs> Captain, what the hell have you become? The Soashiro I knew would never just blindly follow orders. Not even the young masters. There's no excuse in the world that could justify killing Arakawa-san! Yes, there is. To me, the young master's orders are law. My life's purpose is to protect him. My life's purpose was to protect Arakawa-san! I know that. I know that all too well. Captain. And just so you know, I didn't kill Arakawa-san. Huh. I thought the young master ordered you to, because of me. He did order me to. What? But that was the only time I ever disobeyed one of his orders. I couldn't kill Masumi Arakawa. I can't explain it, but even as low as I've fallen, that was the one order I couldn't follow. How could I? Because you couldn't put aside your respect for Arakawa-san. Well, you think a Yakuza can't take out his own patriarch? No. That wasn't it. No? The real reason was... And I've never told this to anyone. Not even the young master. So why are you telling me? Just listen. The first time I saw Masumi Arakawa was only a short while before I swore my oath to him. I was 15. Just a dumb kid with no direction, Wait, no future. Wait, sounds familiar. This sounds oddly familiar. Back when I was getting into fights on the streets of Kamurocho, I had no money. All I had waiting for me at home was my drunk father's fists. The only people I could trust were the other guys who also had nothing. My girl was... Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Anyway, we shacked up and played house, even though we didn't really think it would last. By the time she told me she was pregnant with our child, it was too late for an abortion. What are we gonna do? We can't raise a kid. There's no way in hell. All we could do was pray she'd have a miscarriage. We just ignored her growing stomach, going about life pretending it wasn't there. No hospital visits or anything like that. But of course, you can't ignore an actual baby. She ended up giving birth in a department store bathroom, all on her own. I was working at the time, laying asphalt as I recall. What now? Just pretend it didn't happen. Brush it under the rug. That's what you do with secrets. That's how we dealt with stuff our whole lives. Who was there to teach us any other way? No one. Which is why... Huh? We're going to hell, aren't we? I know it. 
Why are you saying that? Nothing happened, okay? It's chilly out. Let's go home. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I'm going back. Are you serious? It's over. Just forget about it. I can't. I have to go back. Stop. We took care of it. You're telling me the young master says. Damn it! Open your piece of shit! Open! Shit! That's the locker we. Does he know? Why else would he try to open it? Did he hear the baby in there? He had to, right? This is my child. What? Well, this might work out. Huh? Yeah. yeah. That guy will look after him. I don't understand. This is a gift. Right? It's for the best. Really. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Son took your baby. That means shit. That baby was Masato Arakawa, the young master. The young master is your son. The boss told you about that night, didn't he? New Year's Eve. His woman was being chased by the Hikawa family. They decided to hand off the baby using a locker. <sighs> How could they have known that there would be another baby in the same row of lockers? What were the chances? So you see how it happened? Arakawa followed the sound of a baby's cries and pried open the locker. But what did the other kid? Five years later, the mother of my child was out of my life. But Masumi Arakawa... He was still in Kamarocho. With my son. I... Is that... Huh? That kid... I did some research on the man. Arakawa started his own Yakuza family at a pretty young age. So he was gaining some notoriety already. I found out a lot. Like how the kid in the chair had never been able to walk. Because of severe hypothermia he'd suffered when he was born. Enough, Masabu. words and I swear they echoed in my head for months even if I'd never had a son the Yakuza path was my fate it always had been I've been living my life half-assed for so long are you sure you want this there's no turning back once you've sworn an oath I'm sure Suddenly, I saw another way. I could swear an oath to Masumi Arakawa. Okay. 
Then drink. <laughs> Arakawa the Assassin was his nickname then. He didn't fuck around. I get it now. I get why you swore loyalty to Arakawa. It wasn't because he was the legendary Arakawa the Assassin. That's what drew everyone else to Arakawa. But you swore your oath to be near the young master. Does he know any of this? I told you, this is a secret I've never told anyone before. Honestly, I thought I would take it to my grave. And then why did you tell me? Because there's something I want to ask you. Me? Okay, shoot. Didn't you notice there's one crucial detail missing from that locker story? Mm -hmm. Crucial detail? I did. Use your head. If Arakawa-san took my son out of the locker, then where is his real son? Uh, yeah, good point. The boss said his woman's name was Akane. And... Before he met her, she'd been working at a soap land called Shangri-La. No! Shangri-La? Seriously? That's where I was born. Yes. So take this next part with a grain of salt. But here's my theory. On that night, New Year's Eve, Akane called Arakawa-san to tell him she was being hunted. She knew they'd find her at the maternity ward, so she left. But as soon as she did, she went into labor. She desperately needed to find a place to have her baby, where she wouldn't be found. So I think she may have gone to her old workplace, Shangri-La. And, as you just said, that's where you were born, correct? But that... You're making it sound like I... It can't be. After the boss took the young master out of the locker, I saw another baby. You did? What is this madness? Mo! Mo! <laughs> Long after all the fuss died down, she and I just stood there. We were shocked. Our doomed child had been saved. And now we had to just move on. I have to admit I felt relieved, but I couldn't see why a Yakuza had been so desperate to save a baby. Sure, maybe he'd heard it crying, but why the desperation? And he didn't even call for help. It was such a fucking mystery, it gave me a headache. But a few minutes later, I got my answer. Boss! Is it one of these? Yes, hurry! Open up every single one that isn't locked. Okay, I'm on it. What are they doing? I don't know. I hope to hell it wasn't this one. He's not here. Oh! Gotcha! Boss! What? I found him! You sure it's him? Wait, no. If he's still here, that can only mean the handoff didn't go as planned. Oh. No way. There was another baby? What should we do? Take him to the police? No. I need to hold on to him for a while, in case Akane comes back for him. You think she's gonna make it? She said her life was in danger. It was at that moment I realized... ...the other man had taken the wrong baby. Why is it so deep? And so many twists. You took the wrong baby.
After putting you in the locker, Akane-san kept running. Right up until the Hikawa family caught her. I think that while she was on the run, she told someone she could trust about her baby in the locker, just in case. <sighs> what? Oh, crap. I've been sitting here without telling you. I didn't recognize the two people that came to pick up the other baby. But if one of them was Jiro Kasuga, your foster father, owner of that soap land, then you're Masumi Arakawa's son. Sh shut up, man. There's no way. But isn't there? A DNA test would be a simple way to find out. Without a test, you'll never know for sure. <gasps> or if you think I'm talking out of my ass, just walk away. Forget I told you. Hell no. You think I'm gonna just let you walk away after you killed the Seiryu clan's chairman? Do as you will to me. I had no future then. I have no future now. Why not? Ryo Aoki told me to kill Arakawa, and I refused. He clearly already decided I was disposable when he gave me this hit. Why'd you do it? Take out a chairman? Aoki wasn't expecting me to come out of this alive. All I am to him now is a third-rate hitman. My success or failure hardly matters. Then, I need you to answer me, Captain. If you didn't kill Arakawa-san, who did? I don't know for sure, but maybe Lieutenant Nishioda. He's the young master's favorite peon now, since Arakawa-san is dead. Makes sense. Arakawa-san's death is on Nishioda then. Sawashiro, I still can't let you walk away. As much as I'd like to kill you myself, you need to pay for your sins the legit way. Pay for my sins? The legit way? <laughs> That's not the way I've led my life. Wait, is he actually gonna go to the police station? Holy cow! What's up? I found out who gave us the tip about Chairman Hoshino being in danger. It was Sawashiro himself. What? What the hell? Why would he give himself away? To venture a guess. I don't think Sawashiro actually wanted to kill the chairman. What? I believe he was hoping you would stop him, Kasuga-san. <sighs> but he couldn't say that outright, because it would have been betraying Aoki. So instead, he leaked his plan to kill Chairman Hoshino, and left his fate in your hands. But that means we failed. We didn't stop him. Shit. You always made such impossible demands of me, Captain. God damn it! like the 15 different freaking plot twists in like 20 minutes that does not make sense and i hate it 
Dang it. Next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon, we're passing the torch. I had no idea what this chapter is named. Don't, don't at me. I'll see you then.